Disney Plus is doing much better than we thought. We raised our estimates for that with this note. But it's the, the company is seeing pressure across all of its other segments, uh, and, and most notably at, at the parks, which were closed in March, and, and we expect to be closed for, for quite a while. Do we have any idea how long quite a while is? <laughs> No, we don't actually. Um, in our note, we, uh, we, we had assumed previously that, that June 1 would be the open. Uh, we, 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 that, that was our assumption when they, when they closed um, you know, in March. And with this note, we pushed that back to, to January 1st. Uh, and we made a number of other changes as well. Um, even when they open, we have the, the parks acting or um, operating at much less than full capacity. The first six months, we have about 50% capacity. And then the next six months at 75% capacity. And that's just as important as when they open. Frankly, it might be more important because now that the company has furloughed so many of its workers, it's cut its losses pretty dramatically during the, 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 the closed period. But when it opens, our estimates suggest that at 50%, they still lose money. So it really, what really matters is when the economy gets going and people start traveling again and we can get those parks back to 75 80% full. The, the problem, yeah, and that's the problem, John. You've got an impossible job. I mean, we have no idea what people are going to do. They could open the doors back, and there are Disney fanatics out there, and many of the, it, maybe it's 95% full in the first day because people just don't care, or maybe it's 10% full for three months because people are terrified. It's impossible to guess. That's exactly right. A lot of it has got to depend on um, sort of the, the, the issues, you know, ar around the virus and what's going on from a healthcare standpoint. And we do a lot of work with our healthcare team at UBS, who's very strong and and uh, has has guided us in, in sort of these thoughts. But but you're right. We we really just don't know. And a lot of these states are starting to open their economies. Uh, Florida, you know, where where Disney World is, being one of them, which opened in the beaches recently. Um, I would say California is going to. It sounds like it's going to be slower with with uh, what. Governor Newsom has been saying. So, yeah, it's, well, you have to take all this into account. But at the end of the day, it's not just when they open, it's how they open. What are the additional costs associated with opening under this new environment? And B, when are those crowds going to show up?